Vincent Oshana, ladies and gentlemen, come on. Thank you. Funny how? I mean, what's funny about it? Oh, we're on. So we're live. What's up, everybody? Um, thank you. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Uh, the Funny How podcast with Vincent O'Shaughnessy. I'm your host. It's been a long fucking day coming. It's only been, I think, like 15 years since Joe Rogan and them started doing podcasts that I'm starting. I'm in the house with Robert Gargiulo. Hello there. Robert all internet. the way from fucking Jersey. Well, I mean, I live here now, but hello, internet. Yes. All the hair on his body is on his chin. And He's, my butt. Yes. Okay. And then we got Tyler Bohol over here. Joe, Tyler, where are you from? Where are you from originally? Texas, baby. Tejas. Okay. Tejas. So I know exactly who you voted for and who you're going to vote for for the rest yeah, of your life. I voted for Biden. 100%. 100%. <laughs> Doing a great job. Big fan of uh, old Nancy Pelosi about yeah. to start World War III. Dude, I, I, and guys, mind you, just right off the rip. Jesus, I'm fat. I just, sorry. I just got a glimpse of me. I look like a picnic table. Look how wide I am. Holy shit. I'm you watching, guys should lay entrees on bro, me. Bro, I'm watching you on my phone too. I was like, who the fuck is that God guy? Damn. I got Jesus, Tyler. This is a bad camera angle, Jorge. You make me look chubby. Boy, yesterday, because yo, everybody, we did a we did a we've done five. Wait, oh, seven. We've done a whole series. Uh pretty much season one of this podcast has been done, shot, and then just internally circulated around yeah. here, and nobody yeah. has done anything. Dude, with we We've done, we've done, I'm not joking, we've done seven podcasts, switched the sets, test changed runs. everything out, test runs, nobody's seen them, but they're like, yeah, let's just test them out. And the problem is, now we told all our good stories during the podcast that we're not going to air, so what do we have Yeah, today? like, I'm like, people are like, are you nervous? I'm like, no, I fucking, we ran out of shit to say. We did seven hours worth of shit. I've heard about hot sauce on Vinny's testicle, well, no, on Vinny's Oh, Lovers, wait. Privates, Hold on. I've heard about. Gotta write. I gotta write. Dogs that. being involved in uh, and, sexual activity with Vinny. And please remember and have that the plug with the taco at some oh, point. Oh, what what Rob's wife uses on it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You have to, you have to do that. You have to. <laughs> well, uh, well. I, I just want to give my heads up. So hang on. Yeah. Back to these two fingers. You said what? you can't do two more because you're a virgin. But if she already had two in, then what's two more, Vinny? Listen, let me explain something to you. First of all, you haven't lived unless you've. Had <laughs> You're a not, girl. You're like, not. No, I'm, wait, hold on. I was joking about the fingers, but yeah, bro, having your ass licked and don't even front, <laughs> both of you. Let, hold on, because bro, I'm just letting no. all the viewers. I'm letting everybody know right now. Yeah, this isn't. We work for Valuetainment. This has nothing to do with them. This is my. This is. You know who the fuck? I'm 44. I'm single. I have no fucking kids. I live the bachelor life. You know what I do in my life? I drink. I have sex. I make fun of people and I do stand up. That's it. And now we're doing podcasts. So Only two of those things you do well. Two. Okay. Okay. I see. I see where the fuck you're going. Tyler's very but mean. He's, he's very, just a very, mean person. And for and for all the people that watch, for being it, as unlikable as you are, Tyler, you should try and be nicer to people because you already have a disadvantage. People see you and they go, "I hate that guy's <laughs> stupid face." That's immediately what they think. And if you don't think it, everybody says it around the office. So you should try and uh, combat that abrasive, <laughs> ugly, hideous face of yours with a nice personality. And instead, you just double down and, on being you know, a dick. And I want people to know. I don't. I don't know if they Jesus. fucking realize, guys. So we from work, the fucking gnome in the office. Oh, Excuse me. I, I look Look like straight, a picnic table today. Straight from the tow truck. Yo, whatever. so I want I want the viewers to understand outside this room. So Patrick but David's uh podcast is literally that way. We just flipped it around because yo, Shh, don't tell him we have a we have a multi yeah, studio complex. Dollar. Oh yeah, no, here. hold on. We're on a fucking budget. This entire <laughs> set. I want you guys to know this. I don't. This is just shit that I took from people's desks in the office. That's Mr. T with fucking guns. The basketball that everybody throws around the office. I The props I have are the Yankee, the Rangers hat, and the Giants hat. The alcohol, mine, because I come from a long line of alcoholics. Uh, the uh, the football's from Eric's, uh, one of our producers' this table. And yes, we bought the flag and the prisoner of war uh, flags that we had to. But everything else, bro, this desk <laughs> was in the street. And we picked this fucking desk up and we're like, it'll fit. Bring it in This there. podcast brought to you by things we found around the <laughs> office. Because <laughs> y'all want, I, I should have said earlier too, this podcast is brought to you by nobody. This is the first, nobody gives a shit. However, nobody knows. if Ross Dress for Less is interested in a sponsorship, I like yeah. to wear your Husky Boys clothing. Beautiful. And uh, I got this shirt for $6, Husky Ross boy. Dress but for wait, Less, tax-free weekend. The, uh, le the yesterday's podcast, you had the, it was a whole set you got. Oh yeah, I've got all my entire wardrobe. Dressed by Ross. I don't you know, know who he is. Guy's got good well, deals. How, wait, I'll be honest. How many how many shirts and pants you got and what was the price? Uh, I think I got four shirts and three pairs of jeans and it couldn't have cost me more than like 
Mm, Forty-five. Shut the fuck dude, up, dude. The shirts are seven dollars. <laughs> hey, That's why it's called Ross. They're not just less. any jeans. They're stretchy jeans. They're the, oh, because Rob, well, Rob got an ass. <laughs> I mean, you got an ass like, like Rob. Rob. Rob got a yo. Listen, I you, do. I Rob got a like. Wide I'm butt. not gonna front. Like when you walk by the office, sometimes I mean, dude, it's, you know. I've been here by myself for a couple months. I look at Rob. I'm just like, if I was gay, I would fucking. You know hey, what I mean? Thanks, I, man. You'd give me monkey pox. I'd give you. <laughs> and I would take your monkey. Pox. I would 100 percent monkey pox you. But um, <laughs> oh man. So yeah, and just could you, guys you imagine? Are, sorry. Yeah. Could you imagine not being gay and getting monkey pox and Some, then telling? Oh, like, like, how do you call out of work and go, guys? I I have monkey pox. It's not what you think. Yeah, and, but I've got the pox. Yeah, and as soon as HR hangs up, they go, I knew it. Yeah, <laughs> Rob's gay. <laughs> Rob got monkey pox. But um, yeah, so the point I was trying to make is so uh, Rob and Tyler, mind you, outside this, because we're in a vault, right? We're an actual bank vault. Outside this door is a corporate, like corporate office. I mean, there's people hustling and bustling and there's shit going on in there. Rob sits in front of me and Tyler's behind him. And all day, <laughs> it's just constant. Like, your mother's this, you're a piece of shit. Look oh, at your stupid I never ass. bring mothers into it. It's just him on a likability factor, very, very low. He has what we call here in the Valuetainment universe a high tune-out factor. That's when Tyler talks, people tune out. And he also has a very, very low likability factor. High tune-out factor, low likability factor equals canceled. Got just you. Get him off. So boy, what? So on on and because Tyler's on uh, uh, PBD's podcast. What's the what's the audience's gauge on Tyler? Are, well, you, somehow are, you, are you loved? Or you, do they love you? No, they typically tell me to just shut up. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Wait, like, you watch the audience when I start talking, it drops by like hundreds. No, dude, yo, we're we're HTF. at thirty eight. And by the way, by the way, and I, and, <laughs> we're I, at thirty eight. I have to express if this. If we didn't have him, we'd be at seventy six. No, you really think so? Yeah, we would double All that right. audience. Yo, Jorge, everybody in the studio, do not show Tyler for five minutes. I want to see if we jump up. <laughs> But yo guys, I want I want you guys I want you guys to know something right now. Uh everybody that's watching the 38 people, just I have to address. I love you all. I really appreciate you guys. It's been a long time coming. Everybody's bro, I just hated the word pod. Every time I heard podcast, podcast, I was just like, dude, I don't want to fucking hear it. I just I I never ever liked it. But I'll get into the story of of um how I'm here and how it happened and you know we're 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 doing it. Well, See, I, mean, I worked in a world that fought podcasting for so long. Uh, I worked in radio for 20 20 some odd years in Jer in Jersey all over Cleveland Ohio uh Tampa Florida Philadelphia Pennsylvania Fort Myers Florida yeah uh they fought podcasting because they were threatened by it. They never embraced podcasting. They never until adjusted. It was too late. No, it just changed the wording. It's and what fucking... people like are people sitting around uninterrupted by commercial breaks or the newest Kesha song. Uh, they like Kesha. to hear. Yeah, it's, Kesha. I mean, I played. What I, year are you in? Uh, uh, Two thousand four. Thank you. you Judging no. by the style of clothing, <laughs> nineteen eighty two. But that means he loves fucking Kesha. Uh, loves her. She was hot, wasn't? Isn't she? She was. Isn't she Mick Jagger's daughter? Is she? That's what I heard. Oh, she's bad. I mean, dude, Kesha was You know, banging. there's this thing called the internet. It's on the thing in front of you called the computer where you can actually check I've, things hey, I've been before told you just say I have them. to keep the screen up. Oh. You know, I love you know I love too out of all the 38 people that are in here, it's all my family. My cousin Rumson, my brother Victor. <laughs> Wait, what's my your, cousin co John. your cousin's name is Rumson? Rumson. He's Middle East. He's Syrian, but he's Middle Eastern. I didn't I never heard that name before. Rumson, he's a G. Hello, my cousin. Rumson. Rumson Johnny, my brother Vic is in here. That's that's that, how we're Rumson sounds like a name you would use if you were caught by the cops egging houses at 16 <laughs> and they're like, What's your name? You're like, uh, Rumson Smith. <laughs> Felder. <laughs> well, it's, it's even a longer, crazier name. It's a long one, but I don't want to give it to him. Uh, no, I see you guys, Rum. But um, so, yeah, just giving you guys a heads up. I uh, For people that don't know, I mean, what, eight of you are probably people that don't know me. But uh, I was in, uh, from, from Yonkers, New York, originally. Uh, spent uh, the rest of our life in uh, New Britain, Connecticut. Uh, joined the military when I was 18. And then, bro, just from day one, trouble, trouble, trouble. Did uh, four, four, and a, four years, and then stop laws happened. 9-11 happened. So that's when George Bush was like, you guys can't, like, you literally can't get out. So it was like a year and a half stuck. And then I got out and I went to chase my dream in LA. Bro, you ever chase a dream so much that it turned into a nightmare? That was it. Yeah, that I feel like LA. I live it every day sometimes. Bro, <laughs> every it was, day. I wake it was, up, I go, oh, this is not. This is and, you know, you know what, and you know what pisses me off the worst? When you go, when you go to LA, because wait, have you, ever been, have you been to Los Angeles? No. To, for work? No. No. You never went. Okay, so I... I, I, I did the whole, you know, sell everything, go to fucking, go, let's just chase it. My cousin Mike, who's he's actually, he's in the chat too, he opened his door, bro. He's like, Vinny, just stay with me for as long as you need to stay. Get on your fucking feet and do it, bro. And I fucking dedicated. I did as many open mics as you possibly could. I went to the Groundlings uh, Improv School where everybody from like uh, SNL, Mikey Day and all these guys 
uh, went to. And then what pissed me off the most is, especially now, now that I don't give a shit, especially my last couple sets in LA, I was like, when you go there, there's this, there's this stigma where everybody's like, hey man, you gotta be careful. You're, there's producers out there that you're gonna have to you know, suck and sleep with to fucking make it. And 15 years later, I'm like, where the fuck are these guys at? Like, I didn't see one. <laughs> I like I would blow like, I would have blown one guy at least to be in my question in yeah, anticipation. Bro, are you, wait, are, I get to are blow you today? Yo, time out, time out. All gay shit aside. You don't think I would blow like who's who like Transformers Five? Who's the guy? Michael Mann or uh, Shia LaBeouf? How about Shia LaBeouf? Would you blow? No, Shia no, no, LaBeouf no. He's not a director producer. And you know what? I'll I'll take that back. Not even blow. Just like a no look. Just see, but they don't up. want that. I they think want it's, it all. it's the power that they feel yeah. when they make you do things that you don't want to do. So if you were like, yes, I'd gladly give you a handy. They're going to go, no, I don't want that. What, I, would I go, won't what I go, you won't do. Yeah, but you know I would tell them? I'd be like, listen, first of all, it'd be the best because I'm trained. 44 years, I know I know what I'm doing. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So, I mean, just, I don't want to star in it. Give me a fuck, give me a role that'll catapult. Well, okay, let me ask you a question because you yeah. were in the L.A. Hollywood scene. Yeah. Um, we had a guy, and I'm not going to say who it is, but I think, Tyler, you were in the meeting with him. Um, there was in, uh, a meeting with a guy that came here, uh, LA actor, big time has done a lot of stuff, been in a lot of films, a lot of TV shows, yeah. and he's looking to make the transition to podcasting. And the one thing he started talking about was that that stuff that you hear in Hollywood really goes down. 100%. Like the things that you think are conspiracy theories, like there's sex parties with, uh, people having to do things for jobs that actually exists and people are, so is Hollywood that seedy? Are there people doing things uh, like that to get ahead? One thousand percent. Well, that's the whole the whole Weinstein situation was you know all the years of the abuse, them putting him on blast. But every time people go, yeah, I heard, I heard. Personal experience is what I love to hear. For instance, my first, I, I don't know who I forgot his fucking name. I would I would one hundred percent put him on blast. I went to get Bill headshots. Nye the science no, guy. Yeah, that's him. I know. No, it. so I got I got recommended by. Ready for this? I jumped right into acting uh, classes. Fa quick, bro. $250 a month, no joke, out of the military in. That teacher, him and his wife, recommended that I go to get headshots from this from this really you know good headshot guy. As he's taking these shots, and bro, if you guys want to... Todd, you want to laugh? Look up Vincent O'Shawn headshots with me. And you guys are not. I look. Oh, like, I think I've seen these. I look like fucking Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> like you, you want to laugh? Headshot. Middle Eastern Vincent Sylvester O'Shawn. Stallone. Yeah. A head injury pops up. No, wait, what? Let me go down. Go down. Where's the, I have a tank top in one of these. That one's very oh so that, yeah. Oh, no, I thought that, that was no, hair. No, no, go down. Yo, scroll, scroll, See, scroll. See, that's like the good neighbor guy. That's my in boy Gilmore Amir. Girls. That's my boy Amir. No, where what the, the hell? What the fuck is that, Vinny? What you... That's me. That's a sketch. Dude, why? It's funny. You, <laughs> is you that you dressed shots? as a Nazi? That's me. Yeah, it was, I did a, a funny Hitler sketch. That's me on the... And Vinny, that's my brother. And Jamal, that's... And Damon on the Showtime. Uh, I was You're on the so show. much more Jack now than you were before. You think so, really? Yeah. No, I was swollen right there with a tribal fucking tattoo. That's me with Mike, a Mikey Dan shot sketch. Anyway, it's somewhere on there. I don't know what the fuck. I was wearing a tank top. I don't know where it is. But uh, anyway, so mind you, I'm buff. I'm out of the military, Rob. And this, this uh, headshot guy goes, hey, I know an agent. I swear to God. He goes, I got a fucking agent for you. And I'm, dude, imagine this. I just got here. I'm here for, for two weeks. Got an agent for you. Fuck, let's let's and I was just like, I'm calling my mom, bro. I'm crying to my mom. Like, agent, I'm gonna, it's happening right now. Bro, I walk into this fucking guy's. He he doesn't show up to the restaurant, expensive restaurant, uh, on Sunset Boulevard. And uh, I'm like, yo, dude, like, what's going on? Mind you, this black beer, old school shit. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can't come in. You know, I'm, I'm not feeling well. Can you come to the house? I swear to God. And this is in the Hollywood oh. Hills. I walk into this guy's crib. <laughs> he's has like he's recovering from cancer. He's an older, older, oh, no. older agent slash producer. Sits at this big ass desk and he's chilling at the. I swear, bro, I'm not joking. He's sitting at the desk and I sit there, bro. When I tell you, I mean, I'm, I'm like this and he sits down. Bro, my resume, you know, my resume said shotguns and I know how to low crawl. I could be in a military movie. I'll just be, it was all military. I haven't acted in shit. Okay. And then he's like, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, really, really interesting. Um, can you like take your shirt off so I could see? I, <laughs> Bro, I'm not Tom. I can't make this up. He goes so, and dude, it was disgusting because he's older. And dude, like when you, like somebody that's recovering from cancer, he had like insurers on the on the table, and it's kind of like pasty. And like I could tell like, he was like cold and nasty. And then I'm like, I'm like, excuse me. He's like, yeah, just, you know, I just I would like to see if I'm gonna represent you and, and put you in this shit. And I, dude, mind you, I'm not into this game yet. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I go, bro, did you read some of this uh, training and shooting? And I go, I, I, I go, bro. I will fuck you up. He turned whiter than his cancer sickness. And he was like, 
No, 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 no. I go, bro, you got, I go, my mom, fuck, I go, my mom, she, my mom's always, she's my fucking, she's the saint, she's my number one in the world. She told me, I swear to God, I was getting in the military, she's like, don't do it, please, Vinny, please. She's like, there's nothing there, there's just drugs and you're going to be gay. And I was like, Jesus Christ, there's just everybody's gay. No, Callie's full of a lot of gay people and there's drugs. Like, she nailed it. And bro, I, I left there and I was so, I was so fucking mad i remember calling her and i was crying i was like oh you right she's like no she's like you got out you fucking you know stick in there and make it make the best of it and i mean that was my dude that, i was there for two weeks and that shit was happening see i'm naive if the guy was like could you take your shirt off i go uh, i guess so is this for the role and then i take the shirt off and he's like okay now come sit on my lap and i'm like <laughs> okay i guess this is like uh, i'm gonna play a little boy in a santa like yeah. movie what is going yeah. on here uh i can uh can the production room hear us uh, hey uh production room if Vinny were to tell us a name of somebody he knows who did something uh, sexual to get ahead could you cut the mic so nobody could hear us <laughs> just like you could just like secretly do you know anybody that's done you know sex acts to get ahead for sure like I, we're not gonna let anybody hear it you think I'm gonna try no we'll turn the mics off nobody will hear nah 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 fuck that I'm not gonna so get the answer is yes the answer is dude what do you mean yeah, wait Excuse me. It, like it'd be surprising if you were like, and this didn't happen. But if you were like, yeah, one time uh, I heard John Goodman. Oh well, man, well, well, dude. I mean, go. Like, like every okay, it's fun. It's crazy that you say that. So you say male, male, female, whatever, gay, whatever. straight, yeah. whatever. I, dude, when you're in Hollywood, when you hear a rumor as many times as you like, dude, I've heard so much crazy shit about Will Smith, and I've heard, dude, I've heard stories where I've been like, come on, and then like four other five or people like they'll, they'll talk about it, and they're like, yeah, dude, like. Like, it's not even a story. They've bro, known that for years. I've, I've been in, dude, I've been in the Hollywood Hills at parties where I'm never going to say this, these people's names, but a high, like, if I said you like, no fucking way, that they've even told people that are at their house, like, listen, it's, um, it's this time because they respect the person. You should probably like leave because it's going to get fucking crazy. Oh, it's going to get weird. That's it's when It's going to get weird and they just fuck it and they just bounce bro like adrenochrome weird or like no 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 not like not, bohemian <laughs> grove weird or I, how, how about this i never stuck around to find out but i'm pretty sure it was i don't think it was like that nuts but i mean who fucking knows bro they're in the hills and there's well all, your mom was right so you're gonna go to california you're gonna turn gay into drugs that's it <laughs> can so, you do it in her accent again every Vinny, there's just dr <laughs> there's drugs and gays i go mom <laughs> come on and i mean joe she's she's she knows, she knows what the fuck she's talking about, bro. But it's just it's just nuts. So I got, bro, but I got blessed because I was there with my cousin, my cousin Mike and his wife Nina. They, you know, they let me there. They let me stay. Uh, and dude, I got, I got, dude, I got lucky. You know how lucky I got, bro? My first audition, because I started doing stand-up a bunch of times. My, uh, my first audition, check this out. I'm at the HaHa -Ha Comedy Club and it's like a smaller, smaller club, not like the improvs or one of the bigger like comedy yeah. stores. And I'm in there and I do a set and I remember it was, it was a really, really good set. And then some girl, some black girl goes up to me. And she's like, hey, do you have a, look how old I am. You ready for this? She goes like this, Rob. She goes, do you have a DVD of yourself? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's when you know I'm old as fuck. She goes, do you have a DVD? And this is how old this place was. They didn't, I had to take a, a cassette, drive the sunset. It cost me $200 to take it. I swear to God, to take it from a VHS and put it, I put it, I believe I put on two or three DVDs. So they worked the shit out of me. But I mean, that's, that's what it took, right? So I give her this, she goes, she said, and I quote, she goes, my uncle is uh, casting for something. And bro, that, when you're young, that starting out, you don't give a shit. I, give, I didn't care what it was. I was like, I'm in, let's go. So I give it to her. And uh, one week later, I get a, a call from a producer. And it's like, hey, listen, uh, there's an audition. Damon Wayne's senior, fucking homie the clown, is having this sketch comedy show. They need, you know, they want a Middle Eastern guy. Can you come in? I was like, dude. Never auditioned ever in my life. I've taken maybe two, three weeks of acting uh, classes at this point. And I'll never forget this. So in L.A., for, um, people are trying to audition. Bro, bro, you've been in those small little like theaters. They're really, they're, like, there's a size of this. Yeah. Stages here. There's like maybe five or six roles. And I'll never, bro, I was nervous as shit. Uh, my boy Shane, thank God my boy Shane Miller's there, who's another comedian, uh, really close friends with Damon Wayans Jr. I start walking down the, the thing to get to the stage. And I'll never forget, I just see long yellow like alligators or snakeskin shoes i'm like jesus christ the fuck and then i look and it's damon bro i grew up in living color major pain i'm like like dude he's one of my fucking all-time <laughs> major pain. dude i see him and i I'm, I, I instantly start shaking and he's like yo chill out 
you know, Shane, come out there. Take and your we were, shirt off. Yeah, and now <laughs> take your clothes off. Audition. We're all gonna point at you and laugh, so we have, <laughs> so you can never fuck us over. But dude, I just, I just went into the audition with my boy Shane and just fucking, dude, nailed it. First audition, nailed it, and I'll, I'll never forget. I was in my apartment and I just get a phone call from the producer, and I was waiting for this phone call. And she goes, "So how does it feel being the newest member of the Showtime sketch show?" And I fucking lost my mind. Called my mom, crying, and so she's like, "There's still gays in the <laughs> Yeah, watch out for the drugs. Yeah, she's like, there's still gays and there's drugs. But um, yeah, dude. So I mean, but dude, again. It's, and what happened to that show? It, we went we went one one season, bro. The reviews, everything was good. But, you know, when it comes to to negotiations and money and I don't I don't know. Because, dude, we came out when Dexter came out on Showtime, which I don't know if you guys know the show. Dexter did okay. Yeah. And then uh, Workaholics, Adam Devine and all them and my friend Eric Griffin and all them were cast on. Uh, well, they, it was Adam's show, but. All at the same time, everything. That's when me and Damon Wayne Jr. were trying to do a, a sketch comedy show too. But you know, shit happens, bro. Uh, Damon Wayne Jr. equally as funny on stage. So I've done, I've hosted for both uh, junior and senior. Yeah, senior's crazy. He's, uh, he's, yeah, he's, uh, he, don't, I, he don't give a fuck. No, he doesn't he because doesn't. he's at that point in his career where he's made enough money that he doesn't have to give a shit what yeah. anybody says Must or what be, anybody yeah. does, and he goes up there and does it. His son, I thought, would be a little bit more. Reserved? Reserved because yeah. he's got, I mean, it, he's working in a different Hollywood than what his father worked 100%. in. 100%. Nope. Uh, Damon Wayans Jr. just as wild he's on fucking stage. Crazy, Very good. Bro. I saw, did he, one of the last shows I did in LA was me, Damon Jr. And I forgot who else was it. But bro, like da, you watching something like Damon Wayans Jr., obviously <clears throat> it's in his blood, Robbie, but he, it, it, it just, dude, besides his father did a fucking, his parents did a great Great job. Damon Wayans Jr., bro, is like when I talk about him and my mom, she 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 recognizes, bro. My mom knows what the fuck is going on. Yeah. She knows, bro. And she's like, Vinny, he She knows he, about the gays and the, the drugs. The gays and the drugs. But when she come when it comes to personality and 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 just, bro, just all around great fucking guy. And bro, just fucking hilarious. And he's one of those guys where like, you know, when you make somebody like that laugh and they lose it, Rob, you know, as a comedian, that is the highest high. For me, especially when you, like when somebody, I'm not saying he doesn't like to laugh, but there's people in the office where you just like you get them and you look and you hear it. And you're like, yes, it's it's such a good feeling because comedians we give people besides comedians when you're performing, bro, you're giving those that audience whoever is in the office on stage a vacation from their fucking mind. You feel me? Yep. They're pro you don't know what the fuck is going on, bro. You don't know if somebody is dealing with a sickness. They lost somebody in their fucking family. What's going on? For for God to give me that and I found out that that's what it is and I and I and I honed in on it. That's I mean, you can't beat that. You know what I mean? I wish I could. I don't I <laughs> But you perform, I mean, you perform, dude. People are like, I think I make people's days worse, Tyler. <laughs> Do yeah, I? No, was that a question or a statement? <laughs> yeah, just a statement. Because, like, you guys are bad. You guys are. You guys just bash, bashing each other all day, bro. That's all these guys. No, I think the the I like the live performance part of stand up. I, I get what you're saying that you can turn somebody's entire day around. I, maybe I'm a selfish dick. I really don't care. I like go. I go up there, and I know this. This is probably why I'm at the point in my career where I'm at. I go up there for me. I like it because it's the most fun I have, whether wow. it's a five-minute set or whether it's a 45-minute set. Going up there is for me. And I hope the people jump on board and ride the ride with me. And if they don't, fuck them. Gotcha. Wow. I, I respect that. Yeah. That's well, that's why we're here together. You've been in Hollywood. I, I'm in Book Over Tone. Yeah. And, oh, how far is that? How far is that from here? No, like 20 minutes. Yeah. But people don't realize. Like, think of, I Because, well, there's zero comedy clubs. Or, there's no comedy clubs around us. Well, there's giant theaters. They got uh, like three improvs in the vicinity. You got Miami, you got Dania, 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 and uh, Palm Dania. Beach. So you have three major ones, ones, but outside of that, no. Rob, what'd you call it earlier? Dania. No, the other Dania. one. Dania. I Whatever. thought it was not you, Singapore, but Singapore. Singapore. <laughs> this fucking guy. Yeah, but but no, I don't think people. But I like like to living in Florida and performing. You have like it. It's gonna. It's a hustle, bro. You gotta. You gotta. See a lot of the car. guys. Here's what they do. They come here and then they. They've had a career, yep. and then what they do is they go and they do the cruise ships. So they set up base here, and then they go out for weeks at a time, and they go do the Carnival cruise lines, and that's their that's their income, that's their revenue. But the problem with those shows, if you upset somebody on a Carnival cruise line and the cruise fires you, yeah. you're stuck on the boat until they return oh, to port. God, you no. don't get paid, and then there goes your livelihood because oh, I made the wrong joke. And, and you just stay, and you just stay in the fucking in your. Whatever. Oh, area. They, oh, they just float you around at sea until oh, until they 
go back to the dock, and then they go, you're fired. Get the fuck off the boat. Oh, Here's your luggage. Well, I'm like up front. Somebody hit me up the other day and was like, hey, I heard you're in Florida. And it was one of those conversations. And he's like, dude, uh, there's a cruise thing. I go, bro, I work you know, on Friday. I can't. They're like, no, no. I think it's like late Friday. You can get on the boat Saturday and Sunday. And then I go, I go, wait a minute. So I'm just on the boat, and they go, yeah, you have to do a clean set. Yes, and then a regular and then set. A, and then a whatever set. But I'm like, what? dude, first of all, I, 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 um, I refuse to go up in front of any any audience. We're like, hey, you can't. That's like telling an artist, like, bro, I want you to paint something for me. Don't use red and green. Don't do it. It's like, if you don't like my comedy, I can't. I'm not going to adjust for, for kids. Bro, I don't think children should be in a comedy show. I had a... Yeah, oh, I agree. Uh, what, wholeheartedly. 100%. I did... Um, I, Very early on, I was a year into stand-up. And we did... Uh, I worked for a radio show up in Tampa, Florida. And we did a big cruise every year. Yeah. And the one year that we did the cruise, we decided to do a comedy competition. And we were going to do a comedy show on the boat for all the people who came with the radio show. Gotcha. And the headliners that were going to close the show were Burt Kreischer and Ralphie May. Oh, shit. So it's Burt Kreischer. It's Ralphie May. It's the guy who won the comedy contest. And me... A year in a comedy, open micer at best. Oh God. I go up and I eat straight shit for seven <laughs> minutes. And then the next three days, you're stuck on the boat with all the people you ate shit oh, in front of. God, and they're all just so... like, so you call yourself a comedian? That wasn't very funny. Uh, I, I want to throw myself off this goddamn boat. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the fucking worst, bro. Hey, uh, Vinny. Yeah. Vic is giving orders over here. My brother? Saying, uh, what's the story about basic training? And how he took you and Jamal uh, around the base for food. Oh, God. okay. So, oh, so you guys want to... switching gears? We're gonna come back to this. But uh, so, uh, so growing up, you know, me, and my brother, my sister were all my sister a year and a half apart. Me, and my brother, a year apart. So, dude, once we got we got out of high school, I, dude, we just dude, we're crazy, bro. I was in gangs. I was acting like a maniac. So we all just I could see that. You can you can see that a little bit, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. If Tyler said I was in a gang, I'd go, yeah. Okay. Yeah, bro. So we no. joined. So my actually it's crazy because my brother. Uh, gated year, community gangsters. <laughs> and I'm trying. Wait, I'm trying to think. So yeah, I got out of the out of high school, bro. You want to know how fucked up my high school was? I'd never even met my guidance counselor. I'm not even joking. Like you know, everybody. I, and I was kind of lost in the mix with people were like, hey, you know, I'm going to this school. And that. I never met the person that was supposed to guide me. I'm not joking at all. Zero. Uh, and I was on the high honor, bro. I was a, I was a smart ass fucking kid. Which is an odd job because I don't know too many people that sit out when they start life and they go, you know what I want to do? <laughs> guidance counselor. No, you uh, usually default to guidance counselor, yeah, no shit. and then they put those people in charge of guiding the lives of other young people. And that th th you know what they do? They just make future guidance counselors. One hundred percent, dude. So so I never, dude. I think mine was like the football coach. <laughs> I love that. When I was in high school, our football coach was also our driver's ed coach, and he was also the sex ed teacher. Was he really? How can one person be qualified for so many things when they're there to basically make sure that nobody gets hit in the face with a dodgeball? Was, there, was it like a two for one? Did you get sex ed while you were taking driver's ed? You're <laughs> no. practicing, and he's just sitting over here putting a fucking condom <laughs> on a banana? That would be fucking hilarious. No, Tyler. <laughs> so, so, so my brother joins the military before me, and... Uh, so my brother was a, a security forces and so was I. So I joined one of my really good friends, Jamal. Uh, we all joined. And then, bro, I show up to... to wait, this was basic, basic training. He's talking about we illegally leave church. Because, bro, you can't leave... Once you're there... What's church? Church. It's a place where the Lord is there. Oh, I thought talk. that was like a term for like something on the base. Oh, no, like no, no. We that, call no, they the actually have a church. church. No, it was a church. And then... No, it's actual church. So we sneak away. And, bro, my brother just... My brother's always been the crazy maniac. Just takes us around. Bro, like bringing us into like the shop at and places where... Bro, if we got caught, I would have been kicked out of the military, me and him. But he was giving us chocolate. Because, bro, there's no soda... There's no nothing. You're just fucking brainwashed. That's it. Just eat eggs. Is that how chicken. it works? Because oh, I yeah. could never. Tyler, you're not. You never served, and ugh, God, we would be fucked if you did. But how? Like I look at that, and I go, I commend you for your service. Yeah. Thank you. You're uh, welcome. I can't. I can't ever see myself doing that. It doesn't yeah. seem like I have the personality. The, mil type. the military so or the do? athletic they bring ability. You Shut up, Tyler. So what do they do? They bring you in and just break you down Bro. like a cult and then they get you brainwashed to believing that 100%. Okay. So your first I'm so happy you brought this up. First day. This is first day they take like they bring you bro you get off the bus they're yelling dude it's just yelling like 
the 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 drill instructors they have them they have problems bro to be hot you, like what do you want to do i want to fucking yell at 17 18 years old <laughs> and tell them that they're pieces of shit all day like you have a fucking issue bro because mine were all ass all of them were yeah. fucking pricks so you get out uh they take everybody so they're like in little base so picture this room this lengthy there's like uh let's say 100 of you in this one next door there's another 100 and bro it's called a shakedown so you're wearing your underwear whatever boxer bre whatever that you're just standing there all the shit that you own is on the bed everything because i want to make sure you don't have fucking knives and they're they're stripping you of everything so we're standing there and i've told this story before so you're standing there just shitting in your everybody's all nervous and bro this one i well, people are like, Vinny, how'd you know you would be a comedian? Why, why'd you leave the military? They're over there yelling because they're, they're getting their asses, you know, oh, they're dead over there. And then I'm standing next to my friend Jamal and I'm like, Jamal, look. And he knows. He's like, Vinny, don't fucking, don't, don't do it. I'm like, just look at me right now. I'm going to be loud. I'm going to be loud. And he's like, okay. He's like, just what? And I just started like just fucking dancing around like, a, like an <laughs> asshole. And bro, I'll never forget all the, all the other kids like from Nebraska and whatever. They're just looking at me. They're like, no, no. I'm like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Like I, I do whatever the fuck I want to do. So I'm, I'm dancing. I'm doing my thing. He's laughing his ass off. Uh, a little, I'll never forget this. Uh, <laughs> Sergeant Ramirez, small guy walks right by and sees this and just puts his head down and he goes, mother fucker. And he goes, you over here and I'm dude I'm, and then my fr my friend Jamal goes that's we're fucked it's over it's over comes to me he goes and brings all the under, other instructors and all the other kids from the other room he makes me stand in the middle of the circle my friend Jamal standing there mind you we're just in our little tidy whities and at this point my penis isn't a penis anymore it goes it's gone all the way yep. in I've and I'm wearing tidy fun. whities like I, I didn't know this was gonna fucking happen I have that going on right now I can imagine Instagram. it's a fucking live podcast so he's yo they're yelling at me I mean like Brim hat to the fucking face, just jamming, jamming, jamming. He's like, oh, you think you guys are fucking cool? Oh, East Coast, oh, fucking East Coast, you think you're cool? He's like, okay, you. He's like, start dancing, motherfucker. And I'm like, dude, I'm about to throw up on why he's, I'm like, sir. He's like, don't, sir, dance right now. <laughs> so picture me, Rob, no emotion. I'm just, I'm dancing. He's like, do other moves. I know you know. So I'm doing like the Jamaican shit. I'm doing everything. Do the knees thing. I did like the, this? I did, dude, I was on the floor grinding. And then to my boy, Jamal, he goes, and you. Cheer him on. So picture me doing all this, and my friend's like, go Vinny, go Vinny. So, bro, damn, bear. and then ready for this, Rob. Cut to, it's church. I'm waiting to get communion, bro. I'm, I'm waiting to get the Lord's, f like, flesh in my, and then I'll hear, like, psst, psst, and I'm just like, like, what? And it's a sergeant. He's like, dance now. And I'm just like, I'm, Jesus Christ is, he, like, the Lord is, there's this big statue. And, and dude, I just have to stand there in line. So they, dude, they break you down. They cut all your hair. They call you rainbows when you show up because everybody's wearing uh, different colored clothes. And then, dude, they break you down. Everything is, is uniformality. There's a, they, you know, a leader. You're underneath it. There's a squad leader. There's a, they teach you the chain of command. They teach you how to be disciplined. Bro, you want to talk so about... So how long did it take before they broke that fuck you, I'll do what I want attitude out of you? <laughs> me or just... You're saying you. Me? Fuck. Bro, I... Because I, you seem rebellious by nature. I'm so not, it seems like it would take... It's the him yelling at you almost gives you the gratification of what you were looking for. You wanted the attention, you got the attention. Yeah. So even though that it's negative attention, it's still feeding it's still, something yeah, inside yeah, yeah. of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was killing. It, it, dude, it took. It didn't take that long, but dude, I want to say, I, oh, oh fuck, because me and mind you, I was in basic with one of my kids, friends that I grew up with. Yeah. So we were fucking around. We were acting like assholes. We were checking people. We were beating people up. We got to pick, like, we picked the, the, the easiest job. You want a laptop? It was dusting the hallway photos. That's the, everybody else had to clean the fucking toilet. There was latrine queens. People were like crying, just fucking <laughs> cleaning the fucking, I, I, dude, I got, we got the easiest job because dude, my, my boy Jamal is huge. It's a huge, huge fucking black guy and I was ripped. I was buff. And we, we just, so they were like, we need these guys to dust. Yeah, yeah. This just well we picked because we picked it we're like that's the job we're gonna do but uh dude after after i got in trouble like maybe the third or fourth time i just you fell in line i still fucked around i still messed around but when they were there you have to be fucking really oh really man careful. see i'd be the guy on the bus on the way to boot camp crying and here's dude, how i know i did cry i'm not gonna fight my, my brother i cried bro I, was, I missed home i felt like i made the worst fucking me decision too. in my life here's the, i was like in fourth or fifth grade i'll never forget this my parents sent me to uh bible church camp which was very odd because we weren't religious by any means yeah and i cried the entire way there i cried myself to sleep 
every single night, the entire summer. Shut the yes, the entire every, every night. and you don't want to be the guy crying at church camp. Go, I miss my mommy. That's <laughs> no. how I know I can never make it in the military because I don't want to be crying on the bus to boot camp. Go, okay, I call my I mom. Love her. Oh, bro, I'm not gonna front. Like as tough as I, I mean, I, I asked my brother. But I called my mom and I was fucking. I lost it because, bro, it's such a crazy transition. Because you're like, I don't know why, but like in your head, you're like, I'm never gonna see them again. Like this is it. I, I'm, well, because there's a very realistic possibility oh, 100%. of that happening. If you, I mean, you went overseas and you served how many four tours? No, no, I, no. I was in the Air Force for five and some years. No, I was in Montana. I, no, I wasn't. Like, right, my brother, my brother, uh, who's obviously on commenting every two seconds. He was in um, Afghanistan. I think he was in Iraq. He was in the, my brother was everywhere, bro. I got I got pretty lucky that I didn't have to go into harm's way. It's crazy. I did get orders, but. Uh, once I got orders to to go overseas, I forgot what the hell happened, but it was stop loss lifted, and then they're like, all right, if you want to leave, this is your chance to leave. And bro, they I'll never forget this. They walked into a room, no joke, because it was like time was up today. Sixty thousand dollar contract, six years. Vincent, go. What year Sign. is this? Two thousand two three ish. Two thousand sixty grand at that. point. I'm not joking, bro. Sixty grand contract. Six years, and I swear, God's my witness. I just looked at it, bro, and I don't know what the hell it was. I go, nope. I wanna, I wanna come. I wanna go to LA. I wanna chase my dream. I wanna make people fucking laugh. You should have seen the the backlash I got because the military is very. They stick. They do. They eat their own first of all, but they're very, very like. Think about how much money and shit they spent on my training. Well, I've noticed there's, it's like a, a camaraderie because even here we've got a bunch of veterans here that yeah, work here. Eric, and Chris, it's those guys kind of you know, shift towards one another. 100%. They gravitate towards each other and then they get each other's backs. Then you got traitors here like Dick Face Tyler in the yeah. corner who yep. will stab you in the back because he has no honor. Just I, just you, Rob. <laughs> Thank you, Tyler. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, so what was, was I going with the... What was it? Uh, the, uh, getting... Oh yeah, and then, then once I got out, that was it, bro. And you... I, I was under investigation. They're like, he's smoking marijuana. He's do <laughs> I swear to God. They're Did like, you? he's on steroids. No, bro. I was such a bit... Growing up, my parents were so good and so disciplined. I never... I, I never smoked weed. I mean, I... But yet dude, you were in a gang. 100%. I mean, I had a gun, but I didn't... Yeah. <laughs> so you didn't smoke no, weed, I, but I, yeah, like, yeah, you were armed. It's like, a, it's like the Henry Hill. Henry Hill never really killed anybody, but he mm. was in. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You think Henry Hill killed somebody? We're talking about good... For everybody... By the way, everybody that doesn't know, Funny How is from... Goodfellas, Joe Pesci. We're definitely going to be talking about a lot of movies, but that's his scene. It's a really iconic scene. Uh, but uh, no, dude, I don't think Henry Hill, Henry Hill, I don't know if he ever even admitted that he killed anybody, did he? I don't know. I, I only know Henry Hill from, uh, he used to call into the Howard Stern show, and I was a huge fan of that growing up, and he would call in every time he'd call in, he was wasted. Drunk, drunk as fuck. Drunk off of his ass. Yeah, that's Henry Hill. He, I, uh, I don't think he killed. I don't think Henry Hill killed anybody. Mobster, Lucchese. No, nah, bro. He became... No, nah, dude. He was just a junkie. He was just... Like, he hooked them up with, like, heists and, like, he had insider information and shit like that where, he, like, they, they robbed, like, LaGuardia or whatever uh, airport they Lufthansa. did. Lufthansa. Lufthansa. Heist. It was all him and all the people that he was involved with. But, um, but yeah, dude. That was it. My brother, my brother served... Shit. I want to say 10 years. Like, if I'm, if I'm wrong, let me know. But my, yo, my sister just... Uh, Retired Air Force, twenty four years. That's congratulations, what, congratulations. That I don't know if she's listening to this because they're actually they're technically, literally packing right now, and they're they're moving to California. So, see my mom too. Oh, why my would mom, anybody move my, to California? My mother, point? mom. If you're listening, Ma. drugs and gays. You're going to where you told me. <laughs> Be careful of the drugs and the gays, Vinny's mom. Yeah, you t you said it. So um. All right, we're going to shift some gears, bro. Let's shift some gears to some of these. Some stories, Let's get to bro. some stories, bro. Like, enough about you hate this motherfucker. Now the military. Yeah, that's his only I, joke. I, is... Yeah, I don't need more. It's, it's enough. That's I've got it. the whole office so on So that's why you're a fucking low-quality comedian. Correct. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> you do shows for now six people. Now go back people. to typing on the keyboard and not talking. We were having Men were talking, and then this thing interrupted. Tyler, you got two computers. Why do you have two computers? Uh, one for there and one for the comments. Oh, got you. Okay, are the people talking shit? People are talking a lot of shit. Okay. <laughs> but you won't read it to us. People are talking a lot of shit. Can I? Can you pull up some photos? I, I would like to bring this to your attention real quick, Vinny. I know Go you on. have some stories. So, uh, First of all, how long is this? I thought it was a half hour. It's an hour? It's an hour. Okay. 45 minutes to an hour. We all right. We real want. quick. This is something that I found very odd what? in our building. What? I like working here a lot. It's cool. <laughs> um, I know all exactly. Right, Tyler, wow. How about a setup? You said pull well, it up, so I did. It's not even line. up there. It's not even up there yet. Okay. Well, it's up there, but I don't know whose car this is in our building. But I've done some recon, and 
I Tyler swiped through. I've taken photos of this person's car, that is so and there is a very odd park job going on here at the that's building. My, that's my car. Which one? I'm, the I'm Toyota. The, I'm the California. License. Okay, well, whoever is the green Honda, what is going on with well, your parking? That is it's calling. not just one day. These are all <laughs> shot from different days. I mean, we're talking about a month, and sometimes the parking job is straight. But I got it. Do they close their? How do you end up so off you know, I, being straight? Do I, you close your <laughs> eyes while you're pulling in, or what is? Going I don't know. On? Bob, how do you end up so far from being straight? <laughs> you said something funny, Tyler. And you, know, I love, you know, I love to, but so these are all different dates. And I normally park. I mean, I, I, I love can this actually person. read you the dates. I Go know ahead. this person. I love it. But yo, shout out to New York. That's a New Yorker. Right is that there. what that is? That's, that's a New, New York, York park. Look at that's a New York parking lot. Like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'm out of the car. I'm going into work. That's how we roll. That's hilarious. Okay, because I keep going. I go, what is going I on love, here? I'm not, gonna, is... I'm not even going to say her name, but that is fucking... Oh, that's a girl? It's a girl. It's oh, a girl. I, honestly, I thought... Can She's I talk... awesome. She's from New York. I thought it was Fabian. No. Our web guy. It just seemed like a web guy type Bro, of park job. That is hilarious. Uh, yo, <laughs> It's very odd. I love it. though. Because well, See, these are different pictures because the sun is different. I'm t- I, yeah, I have Every been... different day, man. <laughs> Those are all different days. I actually on. text them to Tyler when I walk in the parking Bro, lot. I go, that... who, who is parking like this? The first one was taken on July 20th. Then the next one was taken on July 22nd. Bro, so is... there's like, And then the most recent was today. That is so fucking that funny. Is, you know bro. what that is? That's New York parking. I don't that give a shit. So... I'm going in. I got a job to do, and I'm parking here. That... You're going to like it or you're not. I, I respect the shit out of her. I love her. But that's so she, I respect you, too, she whoever me up. that you know, is. I'm not going to say no names, but she yo, she hooked me up. She bought me a, 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 a nice bottle of champagne for this podcast kickoff. And Are she we going to drink I it? I don't want to say no. No, hold on. And I'm telling you right now, bro, we're, you're, if you don't do a shot with me. I can't. That's bullshit. Were you, were you, are you probation? I'm a recovering alcoholic. That's bullshit. Tyler doesn't drink. But Alcoholics Tyler, Anonymous is You can quitters. vape. Then I'm going to have to have Hori because I'm not doing the shot by myself. I'm going to have to have Hori coming at some point when we're almost going to be done. Dude, all right. But, what is the fucking point of these bots? Which what? What are the bots? N- naked HD. Have a good time. <laughs> find love. They're, Rob, yo, they're how, trying to get a hold of you. Well, yo, how do they? Like, there's 38 people. Like, where are these people <laughs> coming from? Is it just start? They're like, I'm going to, we're going to connect with one of these people. Like like buy bitcoins like what are you doing? Buy what, bitcoin. What's this a naked HD like what like what do they even find love? Who the hell is gonna find love in here? What the fuck are you guys talking about? Right. But anyway, going back to the, since yo this this made me think of the New York story. Tyler, can you bring up the New York in New York? I don't know if you guys saw this. I think this was last week. A guy gets hit by a car, and this listen this article made me go. You know what? New York is back. Fuck the pandemic. Fuck COVID. <laughs> fuck everything. I this see dude, the headline already. Bro, let me explain. This is how how gang, how fucking New York is this that a guy gets a pede- gets hit by a fucking car and then he gets robbed twice. From the New York Post, pedestrian hit by car and then robbed while Look, struggling to bro, survive are you on New York fucking, Street. Here it goes. Yeah, he just gets Bro, boom. he gets Oof. clipped. And then look, this fuck, this poor guy is down. And bro, watch this. He gets robbed. I don't know. Dude, they taking his shoes. I think his phone. There's another guy. And then look, other New Yorkers are like, nah, fuck it. They forgot his wallet, and they come back for his fucking wallet, bro. So anybody that's like, man, New York is getting soft, and da da da, bullshit. Nope, we're back, bro. <laughs> that's fucking yeah. That's, High that's five. All. Listen, we hit people with cars, we rob them twice, and we park however the fuck we want to park. Uh, it All says right. a 39-year-old victim was walking on the sidewalk on 169th Street in the Bronx when a black four-door sedan slammed into him around 6.40 a.m. Saturday. So that's Saturday morning. The video shows the victim being thrown into the air before he lands on the street. Two men who were in the vehicle that hit him got out and went through his pockets, taking his belongings. So the that- ball's on you. You hit a guy <laughs> with your car, then you pull yeah. over and you rob him? And you know what, you know what blows my mind? In this day and in this fucking day and age, like it's 2022. There's a camera, but that's why I'm I'm kind of jealous. I'm not gonna front. I'm not saying I'm this guy, but like if I was a criminal too, back in the day, like let's say like late 80s, 90s, you could get away with anything. Like anything. There was no surveillance. Now every, bro, the cars, the light poles, the businesses, people on their phones. How are you that ignorant that you think you're gonna get away? Are you, or is this that embedded in your body that you're like, I'm fucking crazy. I'm gonna rob people, and this is this is how it is. 
Well, I, I think it's, it. I think they do it because they do get away. Uh, according to the article, what did this happen? Uh, the 24th of July, yeah. down here at the very bottom of the article, it says, uh, anyone with information regarding to the incident is asked to call the NYPD's Crime Stoppers hotline. Uh, the public can also submit their tips by logging into the Crime Stoppers website. So that's why people do it, because there are no repercussions. Because even if you're filmed doing that, yeah. you're filmed. Yeah. Hitting a guy with your car yeah. and then running his pockets while he's laying on the street. They got away with it. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Well, and if they get arrested in New York, they're, they're soft on crime. It's like, bro, did, do you guys saw the article? That's why like guy? Florida. We're tough on crime. Florida. You litter? We'll Florida. 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 Like Florida. I tough do. guy. You know, Florida? We, we have a guy named uh, Sheriff Grady Judd. Tyler, can you pull up a photo of Sheriff Grady Judd, please? This man is the greatest man. I want this guy to run for president. He's your, he's the mayor here? No, no. He is uh, the sheriff of a county called Polk County. It's in the middle of the state. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, this guy. White I love this guy. Trash as you can get. Oh, he's this guy. So listen, there was a guy that shot a cop, right? Yeah. The Polk County Sheriff's deputies shot the guy that shot the cop a hundred times. Oh my they god. They asked Sheriff Grady Judd during the press conference, why did you guys shoot him a hundred times? And Sheriff Grady Judd says, We would have shot him more, but we ran out of bullets. What? That is, that's and what nothing, we need. Wha- and nothing happened. No, yeah, shoot a cop, you deserve to get shot a hundred times. I mean a hundred times as fuck. I mean that, that means oh, everybody in their mother that means people reloaded. That means people yeah. are like, wait a second, fix it. All right, Anthony, look, that's fucking, that's a lot. When uh when Howard Stern ran for governor in New York back in the nineties, he had uh Two two platforms that he wanted. He wanted to bring back the death penalty. Yeah. And anyone that was caught using a gun during a crime yeah. would be sentenced to a mandatory life sentence because when you have a gun, what is your intention? If you're committing a crime with a gun, what is if it, it can go one of two ways? You want to shoot they give in yeah. or they don't, and what happens? Yeah. You, you, you shoot a gun. Them. I'm shooting somebody. Hundred percent. That's what we need. Somehow New York got more. Yeah, I mean, dude, it is pretty. Not, I mean, dude, that, that I'm not gonna front. That is one of the one of the major deciding factors. I mean, because you know, because Patrick, the the CEO, the owner of Valuetainment, I hit him up on Instagram, and I was like, "Yo, Pat," and I'm being genuine, bro. I had no into, I had no fucking, I had no idea about this, zero. And I go, "Hey, you know, Pat, big fan. I, I got I got it on my phone. I can show you guys. Huge fan. Love your work. Found out you're a Syrian. God bless you. Blah blah blah. blah. Pat hits me up." Vinny, I'll big, I saw your stuff. Funny, da 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 da. What are you doing? Career, boom boom. Call me, and dude, the guy gives me his fucking phone number, and I'll never. I was in Glendale, California, which Pat, I think Pat lived in Glendale, California, because it's Armenians, and you know he's half a Syrian. And bro, one conversation, and Rumson, you know this, my cousin Rumson, Rumson, Rumson Smith, the Felder. Smiths, yeah, yep. Felder. He was in the car with me on speaker and Patrick, and bro, and then that was it, bro. And this was one one of my deciding factors was like, DeSantis and the the way that it's run here is just, dude, it's night. And day like monkeypox right now. Are they making people wear masks and shit in Cali? I think they made it a state of emergency, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. gonna be, dude. I'm not going backwards. That was one it. of the things, and it wasn't a mask so much here for me, but it was the fact that we didn't shut everything down. We continued to function as a state and continued to keep businesses open, whereas the rest of the country went, no, it's the flu. We got to shut everything down. Florida was like, well, yes, it's a it's a dangerous virus, but yeah. we need to continue to operate. And we need to continue. I mean, I was I didn't do stand up for a month. Or the clubs around here closed down for one month, and then they were a back month, open. That was it. And here's the thing. I was out going to shows and talking to the same microphone as four, five, six other comics some nights. Yeah. Never got. And look, well, I am as unhealthy. Like, if there is comorbidity. COVID's bi- looking for this, this guy. This is comorbidity. Like, this is it. I've got every single one. <laughs> Asthma, overweight, breasts, all like, of those things like, I got going on. COVID is, you are the number one COVID, if, like, search engine. They're like, I'm coming for that And I'm not guy. saying, and then people are like, well, my, I actually lost uh, uh, my best friend from the age of... God, 12 years old until uh, two years ago. Stop talking to me because I didn't stay inside. I didn't get vaccinated. I just went about my life. I was just, I kept my social distance. You know, I took my vitamin D or C or whatever you're supposed whatever, to yeah. I rode my bike, yeah. tried to stay healthy, and didn't it. work, but I never got it. So you got, I'm, I'm going on a limb, but I guess it's a, it's going to be a very strong limb. You guys are, va- you're, are you vaxxed? We actually go at lunch every day and we get boosters. <laughs> That's how we spend our lunch Every, breaks. listen, it's so like when you get a drink, you're like, I have, I want a shot, booster. Well, first we go to Taco Bell, we get our burritos got and you. then we follow it up by going to the Walgreens and we get our 17th you, and 18th boosters. Can you show them the, can you show them the, the, the taco that, you, wait, you had a, wait, oh, you had a Taco yeah, Bell you said? I love Taco Bell. Bell. What happened? Give me a minute. I'll pull okay, it. yeah. So, so, and dude, mind you, I'm not vaccinated. No, no. I, How did you survive in California? I'm, not- dude, I, f- you have no fucking idea how insane. Like, 
I I stayed under the radar. I dude, fake. You know the vax. Dude, I you know how many fake. I it was. I couldn't get into places. You had to show this thing. Here's my card, and bro, look. Oh, look now that science is finally showing itself. I'm, I got COVID really, really early when Trump, I'm not, I remember the day when Trump was like, Jada, that when, right when he said it, was bro, it when he told people to bleach their buttholes it and was they ble- wouldn't bleach, get it? Bleach yourself and put sunlight in your ass. Yes, I that, coughed, that was yeah. it, sorry. Dude, I coughed and I felt like a shooting, a shooting pain in my back and I went, oh fuck, that's it. I knew <laughs> yeah. it. Well, I couldn't smell, I couldn't taste, but yo, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in shape. I took care of myself, took the vitamins and now Rob, since then, not Vax, no booster, I've been around everywhere and i'm fine but everybody else my sister just got it the president fucking got it twice and i'm what, what's wrong is my immune system was was all the all, it's all, your assyrian blood you goddamn right it is but dude i just i got i got sick early on and then fucking guess what built up the immunity i got the whatever the what the antibodies naturally i'm fine bro everybody else is getting sick except me is that weird it's weird that i talk to people who are still living that life like where they're and I, if you want to, that's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not one of those guys that'll see you in a supermarket wearing a mask and I'll go sheep. Bah. I'm yeah, not that no, guy. Whatever. Some old people have to wear the shirt. But it is weird to me that I still have very young, healthy friends that are in way better shape than me that are taking more precautions than ever. Yeah. And I go, guys, look, I should be dead like four times over yeah. by now. You gotta let, dude. You have to let your your body. I, I think George Carlin said the best. Your immune system needs fucking practice. You gotta touch shit. You gotta move around. You gotta fucking. How old is it about to get practice? If you keep washing your hands and shit when something like that comes it knocks you on your ass you're dead yeah That's i used it. to have a, uh, a work for a guy that refused to use hand sanitizer because he said he needed his body to build up the immune so i'm I like i get that but you can't just for like you can't just use any hand sanitizer at all no nah, no nah, but you know my body you, needs the immunity we got a question yeah. yes <clears throat> if your significant other switch bodies with your mother okay wait wait, wait. okay wait go ahead go if, ahead so your significant other switches bodies with your mom and the only way to switch them back is to have sex with one of them. Oh my God! Who the fuck? Who said do you that? choose? What is it? Put, get write that screen name down, and we're gonna contact I wanna see, the. Wait, I know who it is. Who was it? <laughs> oh, Nancy! It's Nancy. <laughs> hey, fellas, if your significant other switch bodies with your mother and always but to have sex with one of them, we, oh my God! Oh, that's a fucked up question. You have to cover uh, your mom's face. I can tell you that I've seen my mother nude. Um, I, not on purpose. I watched. I just on a videotape. Yes, I Tyler. Delhi's hilarious. I accidentally. So I. I, yeah, I used to be going? big into wrestling, and I. <laughs> <laughs> Owen Hart, do you remember Owen Hart? Of course, right. motherfucker. Owen Hart dies at a wrestling pay per view. The next night, they did a tribute to Owen Hart. Growing up, I was a huge fan of wrestling. I was yeah. a huge fan of the Hart Foundation. So I taped WWF at the time, Raw is War Owen Hart tribute. Uh-huh. I put it on a VHS. Yeah. I recorded it off. Put it in yeah you know, somewhere. It got yeah. lost. Years later, my cousins are visiting from uh, Ohio. And I'm like, hey, my cousin's huge in wrestling. I'm like, hey, let's go watch. I have the Owen Hart tribute. We can go back and watch it. Yeah. I pop it in, and it starts. And we're watching like five or six minutes of it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it does that real grainy static. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the next thing I know, there's a woman nude on all fours on a bed. And I'm no. looking at that, and I'm going, this is odd, because the painting on the wall in the video is the same painting that's on the wall behind me. Oh, my God. And then no. out from around the camera, <laughs> I see a giant bush, and it's my dad. <laughs> no. And it's my, it's my dad no. getting ready to mount my mother from behind. Oh, my God. <laughs> and here's what I did. I couldn't stop the video because it was on the VHS. <laughs> And the VHS player was on top of the TV and I was too tiny to reach. And my cousin's laughing. He's thinking it's hilarious. You know what I do? I run to my best friend, Matt Costa's house. And yeah. I'm like, Matt, you'll never believe what happened. To this day, my mother still denies that the story's ever happened. Oh I've told it on every God. radio show I've ever been on. My mom claims that they bought the VCR at a yard sale no. and that tape was in there and I went mom it doesn't make no sense. sense what are you talking what, about this they, in the ri- but ma the painting ma yeah, yeah. The fuck ma don't fucking lie to me dude that is fucking hilarious which is why dude. I'm in therapy to this day so uh, you. to answer your question Nancy I've seen my mother nude and no I would not have sex with her got you that's so yeah that, that, that'd be totally your turn awesome. Um, you don't have a significant <laughs> other do you I don't have, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm single right now but speaking of significant others uh, wait did you have what could you talk? Do you have the picture of him going to Taco Bell? No, I couldn't. Find oh no, it's it. all good. It's all good. Well, well speaking, well, well, this is. Could you please show them? And listen, somebody was like, "That didn't is real." I was here outside with David, who's who works for the company. I got a message at ten. What time was it? The the screenshot I sent you on Slack. 
The picture from my landlord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I mean, her name is. You're gonna see her fucking name. But how fucking funny is this? So this was at ten. What what time? Yeah, eleven. Eleven thirty-eight. Could you put it up? You guys want to see? (laughs) This is my landlord. At 11.30 a.m. Vincent, I received multiple cl- complaints this morning from tenants in the apartment complex <laughs> that there were loud female and male moans coming from your apartment well after 1 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Though it's, but mind you, that's me moaning, too. That means I was like, oh! Yeah, right, oh! right. It's the male moans. <laughs> oh, that's, listen, you know how, for, well, I'll get into this after this. Hold on. Though it sounds like you had a great time, your neighbors clearly didn't. Please be cognizant of the times you're having guests over and please ask them to keep down. Thank you. And I just go, sorry, Jen. I aim to please and sometimes you care what won't happen again. Bro, okay. So can we unpack this for a second? I didn't realize. Because, bro, my windows are closed because it's air conditioned. Fucking Miami. If, if you're having sex in the fucking heat, when you're, you're going to die. Are you an animal? Bro, Rummy, all you hear, I, I guess I was like, ah. Uh, I don't know. I don't moan. You don't actually do that. Dude. No, but I'm just saying. Was I like, Ugh, like I, I'm normally quiet, but I don't, dude. Maybe somebody else was hooking up. I didn't fuck. I wasn't that fucking loud. I'm quiet. She must have been. She must have been like, Ugh. like she was feeling it more than I. Dude, she was being loud, but I mean, come on, bro. Like you know how weird it is now when I see the neighbors. Like no, <laughs> like, you know, yeah. you know, you're talking about like now when you see your mom for that from that moment scarred you forever. And mind you, I'm new to this complex, so I don't know anybody. And the ma- it's a majority, it's random, because I'm Lauderdale by the sea. I think it's like a next to a bunch of hotel complex type situations. And dude, they're all older German people. And now they all look at me like I'm crazy. But one older lady that I saw today was like, hello. Oh, I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, hi, I took my hat. Yeah, come over here, Nana. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, <laughs> can I ask you guys a question? And I want the chat to see, for the guys in the chat too. So, uh, lo- be a, a loud girl? In the bed is a thousand times better than a squirter. That's what I'm. I'm Jesus saying. Jesus Christ! I was not expecting we're that. Shifting. <laughs> was it we're shifting. Like, because hold on, you didn't even dip your toes into no, it. You no, just went I straight don't give a in. Fuck, we're jumping right in because, bro, a loud girl, you got to deal with that. You could, oh, more. but, bro, like a lot of guys think it's fucking cool. Like, yeah, man, I made my girl squirt. That shit is only fun the first time, and it's like, wow, I did it. It's like a whatever. After that, it's a fucking ordeal. It's a problem. Like, you it know seems what? like it's a problem the first time too, because mm-hmm. there's got to be mm-hmm. yeah, no, but precautions but taken yeah, in advance. No, dude, no, hold on. If you don't know, and it's just like a hey, we finally hooked up, and that happens, you deal with it. It's like yeah, because as a man, you feel like oh shit, I I did that. But that after that, it's not fucking cool. You have to set the room up like fucking Dexter. Oh, you know when he kills a body <laughs> and he's draining them for blood. So it's you got not- tarps down and, <laughs> and duct tape. Yeah. You're not- it's just not cool. And you ever notice this for everybody that's listening? Girls that squirt always want to hook up at your house. Always. Well, obviously, obviously they don't want to do the cleanup. They just leave and like, bye. I don't like that shit. That's why I'd rather have a loud girl. I could deal with that more because number one, I'm like, she's like, no, I wouldn't come over. It's like, bitch, I don't have flood insurance. You stay the fuck there. <laughs> I'm coming to your house. I'm not dealing with this shit, bro. It's bad. It's horrible. God, what you're saying is so foreign to me because I'm married, so we don't do any of that. And so I, I no, don't have so, but, not a loud but one. You've never, so wait, you guys have never dealt with a squirt. I'm the only one. Yeah. I mean, I have, wow. but it's been a very, very long time. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not doing it. Wait, so Joe, like, about the... This one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. You have this washing gloves and your whole fucking setup. It's you got bad, goggles bro. on. Yeah, bro. It's just not. It's 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 a it's a novelty <laughs> thing one time. Do you scuba diving? Do you yeah. need a snorkel too? Yeah. It's a, it's a one-time cool <laughs> event. Give me my that, scuba gear. We're going to have sex. Yeah, that's I need funny. a wetsuit. Dude, that's so fucking funny. So, yeah, the, my landlord messaged me. I would what? suggest, uh, what? you know, maybe. What? Being quieter when you make the love. That would be... Or don't be so good at it, Vinny. No, what are you, me, showboating for the whole no, apartment I'm complex? Just, no. Oh, yeah. look what I can do. Dude, she... That's my... landlord. Because, by the way, her son follows me, so her son's going to read that, the landlord, which is pretty funny. But what I mean, if that's a landlord trying to make an in with you? Wow. Like, hey, Vinny, well, so fuck- if you can do this to this girl, could you yeah. do that to me? Well, if she lowers the fucking rent, the rent's almost two grand. <laughs> it's the reply that does it for me. The, yeah, I, I aim to please. Yeah, because like, I asked you for help. I'm like, yo, Ty. I'm like, <laughs> that's what you told him to say. I'm like, yeah. Well, yeah. I was like, I go, I go, how do I respond? Do I apologize? He said no. He's like, throw out some bait to her. I'll be like, hey, so uh, you want to <laughs> get crazy? You fucking like crazy German. She's dude. She she was hot back in the day. The I've landlord. learned so much tell. about you in such a short amount of time. Isn't it great? Uh, that's not the word I would use to describe Come it, but I, <laughs> I enjoy your stories. Come on. It was you guys good. want to see a picture of Rob in 10 years? Let me there see. We go. Let's go. It's not going to be nice. <laughs> By the way, I want to laugh. Look, at, that's a good ass, uh, though. 
my 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 cousin, I think I don't know where is he? I think he's in Mexico. I don't know where he is, but my cousin just sent me this from the airport and I had to send it to Tyler. Is that is that a guy with butt implants? No is that way. What that that's is? not that's not butt implants. That's no that's real, isn't it? It has to be real. That's way too shaped. I don't know. I think that's I think that's a that's a job. I think you pay for that one. The guys are getting butt implants. Tyler and I went to the gym and we rounded the corner from the locker room and all you saw was an ass. You couldn't see the person, but you turn the corner and you just see a nice bubble butt. And I did like the elbow move to Tyler. Like, look and at then we butt? turn and we go around and it's a guy wearing a tank top with a mustache. And I went, Love damn it, I got fooled. <laughs> yo, I got fooled again. Because, yo, like, so, because I don't know. You guys have been here way longer than me. Is the area that we're in, like the, the, the LA Fitness, I go to LA Fitness here, it's 80% gay dudes with shorts that are just sh shorts i call them no they're dude like you could see everything like yeah. balls hanging out and then where's the where's the wilton wilton Wilt Man manners what is it is it just it's it's so a, funny it's like, well, i don't know what that place no, I'm saying, is, is it will uh, cuz I, I i thought i was going to mess up the name was is that is that like the west hollywood of of the area that we're in i think all of south florida is it really it's like it's kind of just i feel like south florida is a weird place where there it, none of that matters like every, it's, shit. you know how you talked about those Hollywood parties? That's kind of what South Florida is like. Yeah, holes yeah. a hole kind yeah, of. Whatever. Mentality. Who gives a shit? Yeah, that's pretty fucking nuts, dude. So let's go to Wilton Manors. I'm, uh, dude, I'm down. I'm, dude, who gives a <laughs> shit? Like we're, we're uh, at this point of our lives, like why not switch it up? You know what I mean? <laughs> Just have fun. Hey, bro. Why not? I have to be a that sugar yet? daddy. Oh. Somebody's gonna pay me or give fucking... this a shot and see if I like it. Yeah, do sports and shorts. But uh, I mean, dude, so the fact shorts. that you guys are gonna do a shot with me, that kind of that sucks. I really was looking forward if to If you do one by yourself, does that make you an alcoholic? Yeah, that does, bro. I don't want to drink by myself. If Hori, Hori, if you're at, Hori, you want to come in and do a shot with me before we get off? Yeah. <laughs> Hang uh, on. I got to know. I, this, this fucking story got me, bro. Megan Trainer on Infamous Double Toilets. Wait, have what? you heard about this? No, what is what okay, is it? Okay, get this. Megan Trainer. Wh they, they sit side by side. No, they don't. He'll hang out with me while I poop. That is fucking He'll disturbing. hang out with me while I poop. It was just, I can't take his poop. Sorry, Daryl. Like, man poops are on a different effing level, but my poops don't smell. Uh, lies. That Every poop smells. They hold hands when they pee. Bro, okay. Look at get this. Get the fuck out. That, that is so weird. weird. That is it so is weird, right? That bothers me. Right? Like, bro. It's, it bothers me. My wife will, uh, she'll pee with the door open. And uh, I go, Right? She acts like, oh, it's not a big deal. And I go, why would, I don't want to see that. Why? That's bathroom that's disgusting. behavior. Jorge, uh, Jorge, you're, Jorge's, in a, Jorge's one of the producers. Who, Jorge, get the hell in here. Yes, We're doing a uh, shot. Let's get the guy who runs all the expensive. You can't. <laughs> Jorge, what the hell's going on, bro? You guys, I'm going to fucking, you guys are. Uh, Tyler, I'm deferring to you. Are you not going to do one? Come on, do you want, I have crown. Do a shot of crown, please. It's fucking bad luck. All right. Yes. Uh, by the way, shot. if there's anybody from upper management watching, I, Bro, I, I listen, refuse. Yeah, listen. You know, like when stand up, if you in. smoke a cigarette, it's part of the act. This is part of the act. <laughs> okay. So this if is. Megan Fox and Kourtney Kardashian start an OnlyFans, do that's you pay, gonna be worth a billion dollars. Do you pay for it? Uh, well, I, no, well, but I would pay for the Denise Richards OnlyFans. Did you see that she started one? Char, uh, Mrs. X Charlie Sheen at like 52 years old decided to start an OnlyFans account and I went I would definitely subscribe to that no wait 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 here's my wait who is it Courtney and who and Megan Fox One dude I've look, never paid for one oh my god 100% dude her kids must be proud Wow. So you would you would pay for How it. did Court in my opinion I think Courtney of all of the Kardashians might be the sexiest Yo, but wait, here's my well, okay, here's my question though. Can you sign up and then cancel whenever you want or is it like you have to be stuck in there for a year? Well, How does it work? What they do, I believe, and I'm not an expert on OnlyFans, but what I think they do is they lure you <laughs> so in with sure. a subscription, but then if you want premium content like photos and videos, it's an extra couple of dollars for certain things. Bro, I'm Again, not that I've ever used a service. I'm, I'm not on I'm, there I'm myself. so mad, though, that I can't. I, dude, I, if I, oh, my God. If I was a hot girl for just one year, because, dude, what, remember that bad bar? What's the bad, bad Barbie? Catch yeah, me outside. Yeah, she made like $50 made million. Dollars. 50 mil but bro, so hold much on. Money. She just turned 18. What the fuck? Like, bro, she's been young as fuck for a long time and i've seen her like, that's disgusting bro that's not good her mother her mother i think oh. that that is kind of what's wrong with this country why did that girl even become famous because she was on the dr <laughs> phil show for being disrespectful million to her made. mother and now the girl's got a uh, half a how much 52 million, 52 million, million, million bro, it ain't gonna stop they love her bro but i listen i would subscribe to to courtney and uh, megan 500 would dude. you subscribe to if caitlin jenner 
were to start an OnlyFans. <laughs> I think just out of the sheer curiosity. Sheer, yeah, the curiosity. I would have I, to. I would 100%. What the question though? Does Caitlyn Jenner have breasts? Yeah. Did, did did she get the implants or no? I don't know. I don't know. Because that's such a weird, like, bro, it's such that's a... That's part of the reason why I would subscribe, to find out what's going on. I w- but like I said, a month, subscribe, pay a little extra, and then just delete the account. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. All right, let's do a show. All right, guys. One for time everybody get- <laughs> home, for everybody, cheers, yo, for my podcast. Everybody that's in the chat, this is all... You guys hooked us up. Thank you for the viewership. Uh... Tyler. Make sure you subscribe and like. Subscribe and like and tell yeah, a friend. like and subscribe. Cheers. Always. Like and subscribe. And- oh, my God. That's aggressive. <laughs> oh, I, just, I get the shakes you thinking feel, yeah. about oh. it. No, you know what it is? It's the oh. people. Hold on. You want some water? No. Oh, I'm good. It's the people that can take a shot, bro, and oh. no facial expression. They don't move. Then I'm like, you have issues. Those people are sociopaths. Yeah, they're pretty fucking... Bro, most embarrassing do- moment ever. Uh, I got caught throwing a shot over my shoulder. What? Oh. What was <laughs> I did. Uh, we were at a radio station event, and a bunch of listeners came up and bought us all shots. And yeah. I was with all the guys from the radio show, and they're like, "Come on, do shots!" And I don't do shots. I don't yeah. like them. I like beer. Yeah. And I did the over the shoulder. Try somebody. it. No. And they all caught me. Oh, they all God. waited because they thought I was going to do it. So th- they all pretended to go up, and I went like this. <laughs> and then I came back, and they're all watching me. And they're like, "Now you're going to get shit faced, buddy." Oh, and dude. the whole night, I drink, tried to drink, keep doing drink, drink, drink. So is that where this is going? Let's go to the bar. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to a drink. But um, I like so we're 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 wrapping it up. But I do want to say a couple of things, and this is from the bottom of my heart, first and foremost, uh, to the fans, to my family, to my friends, to to Patrick McDavid, who literally. Hit me up, had fucking faith, brought me here. I, I couldn't be more happy, more excited. Everybody at Valuetainment, from, from Adam Sosnick to Kelly to Nat to Deli to fucking to Mario. To, I, I, Mav, everybody in this office Everyone but is Tyler. gangster. Yep. Everybody but Tyler. I have uh, Ulrich and, and Kai, too. They're, they're from Norway. They, 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 speak, they speak. I don't like speaking different languages in here. It's really random. But one of the coolest offices, I couldn't be... Couldn't be fucking happier. Yeah, I'm in Florida by myself, but the fact that I have this fucking family here, I come to work happy as hell, even though I'm away from my family. These guys, YouTube, this company, it's just, bro, the future is fucking bright. Pat say this, says this all the time. That I couldn't be fucking happier. And then once my family and friends start visiting, then, because none of them have come yet. It's only been fucking three months. You guys better step the fuck up. Yeah, stop and, going to California. Come here. It's Yeah, the why free. the fuck? Fuck California. But uh, oh, I, oh, I do want to say one thing, guys. We have a, a new sketch drops this Friday. It's going to be fucking, it's hilarious. Patrick, I think, saw it like 30 fucking times. Uh, in the week. Uh, with Alfonso. Alfonso Ramirez. We're going to get into it later. And guys, I'll be at Juliana's in Chicago this Friday at 9 p.m. One show. Juliana's. It's going to be off the chain. Guys, I Also, th- uh, quickly, tomorrow, 1 p.m., shoot the shit with Jedediah Abila. Oh, shit, on I'm Jedediah on that tomorrow? Live. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Uh, so- oh, shit. <laughs> so- Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I'm going to be on Jedediah. Wait, what is it? Shoot the shit with Jedediah Abila and Vincent Oshana tomorrow at 1 p.m. This is and- a busy week, Rob. Yeah, How many man. podcasts, Tyler? Like nine fucking podcasts. Yeah. Jeez, we're doing it, bro. So tomorrow, tune in at 1 p.m. to see more of Vinny and yeah. uh, less of Tyler. Yeah. Well, are you going to be there tomorrow? I, no, I won't even be there tomorrow. Oh, who's it going to be? It's going to be you and uh, uh, it's gonna it's be the Tyler. Nat. Oh, I love you, her. Nat, and Jed. All right, but yeah, guys, I've shooting the again, shit. thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I love you guys. Uh, tune in. I, I think we're doing another one, obviously, once a week. I'm going to start having guests coming in on Fridays because, you know, the comedy clubs are going to have a bunch of people. But I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Tell a friend. Subscribe. Peace and love. We're out.